Hello everybody and welcome to our fully released Coral Island now. That released uh, in November. We were doing a little bit of sand rock at the time so didn't have time to fully jump into this one. But now we're nearly finished with sand rock. We do have time. So I'm going to be doing a full run with this one. The idea um, schedule wise is going to be that we are going to do one episode a day. But they're going to be big, chunky, long episodes. So that'll be big, chunky, hour plus long episodes. So we can get lots and lots of progress done really fast. That seems to be the way to um, actually get finished with my games. That seems to be the only way I can do it is to... If you put out too many videos, the algorithm crushes it. If you get it, leave it going too long, too many episodes over too long a time, then people lose interest. So I think that this, this seems to be the way that I've cracked it to... Uh, do full playthroughs of things though. I hope you are on board for that. So, let's play. Let's not play Snugbug Farm because uh, I feel like I need to go back through, remember where I was, remember what the game's about, <laughs> do all the festivals that kind of, and the bits that got missed. There were bits that weren't in last time because it was too early access. So hopefully those bits will be in now. Right then, I need to make a nice suitably purple uh, character. So that face and everything looks absolutely fine. Uh, body could be a little chunkier or for a she-lab. Maybe even a little chunkier than that. That's nice. Hairstyle. Maybe something nice and long. That's kind of what we had last time. That is also quite, quite cute. I don't know if you could change the length of it. I can get a nice, I think I can get a nice purple colour. I can indeed. Very nice. I would like blue eyes if I can get it. Let's see what other hairstyles we've got. That one's just a little bit. Uh, that's really cute. Oh, we've got some plaits and things. Oh, oh. I like that one. <laughs> This is going to be lots of me going, oh, oh, that's really nice. That's just super cute. I'm, I'm liking the bangs though. I like the, I like the sidey, the, the little, yeah. Oh, side plaits, so pretty, so pretty. Space buns. I'm going to be like sand rock all over again. like that one I really quite like that one basically anything with bangs that might be the winner <laughs> oh, look at all of them you see oh that's poopy no I think the one with the plat behind that one. I think that's the winner for me. Okay. So let's see. Face. Um, different styles of eyes. It may be that um, because this is sort of based on a very specific kind of I might not be able to do blue eyes, but I think I can. Brighten them up a bit as well. Because I'm a blue eyed girl. Or we could do purple eyes to match the hair. That actually goes with the skin tone better as well, I think. So yeah, we're going to go with the purple eyes actually. Um, tash. Uh, I don't think we're going to have a tash. Even an awesomely cute one with flowers in. I still don't think we're going to have a beard. Go for no beard. Outfit! Can we have a cute purple outfit? Can I have a cute purple armband? <laughs> I, think it, I think I will. I think I'll go with the green, actually. I think I'll go with the green. So no facial hair. The face, I think, looks absolutely fine. 
the hairstyle I'm happy with, the body I am happy with. My name is Shelab. Hopefully it will let me have that because I've already got a Shelab somewhere. I can't, I can't find the L. Okay. I really can't find the L. <laughs> um, Ms will be fine. Ms Shelab. I could go with Miss Shelab. I don't know. My farm's name. Hmm. We've got like a C. This is like a C theme, isn't it? I think we want the intro cutscene and the uh, and the. We don't want to disable the tutorials. I think of my farm name. Hmm. farm mermaid cove because this is all about un under the sea mermaids all that sort of thing so i think that's what we're going to go with this time uh okay and i think we are going to complete that yes And let's get in here. So, you leave Tokyo to start, which is totally n no relation to Tokyo, to start a new life on Coral Island. Oh, right click for next. Okay, well, <laughs> that's new. <laughs> I was doing left click. Yay! She loves on her way. To beautiful, beautiful Coral Island. Oh, I remember this dock. Running down here a million times to clear all the coral. We're going to be doing so much coral clearing. I tell you that right now. Hello, Shelab. Welcome back to Coral Island, your new home. <laughs> Welcome back. It knows I've played before. <laughs> it's been a long time, Shelab. Good to see you again. I can't remember the last time we had a visitor. <laughs> I trust you had a wonderful journey with Mr. Wataru. Great, I expected nothing less from Mr. Wataru. He's the best sailor you could ask for. Double click there, sorry. You must be quite tired from the journey. Let's head over to your new place. Yeah, show me my new place. And I'm really hoping that like all the things that were that were missing last time, we can get going with. And we're going to be farming again. Oh, it's been months since I've done any farming. Proper farming. Not automated farming. <laughs> Joko, all right. The force is done. Or it might be Yoko. Dinda, oh my, what a coincidence. We've just finished patching things up here. Is this the new farmer? That's right, Shelab. This is Dinda and Joko. They're the local carpenters. Nice to meet you, Shelab. Hello, Shelab. It's always exciting to welcome someone new to our little island. Indeed, Shelab, this will be your new house. It is a bit run down, but... Um, excuse me, Mayor Connor. Did you just say we did a poor job here? <laughs> uh, no, I mean... They are laughing. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm just joking. Unfortunately, we can only patch up the roof, so it doesn't leak and replace some of the rotten woods. If you want more renovations, you can visit our shop and house in Hillside, northeast of here. We won't charge you for it, but you'll need to gather the materials yourself. Once we restore the foundation, you can decorate the house the way you like. We've placed the complete instructions in your mailbox. Yay, decorating! Well, then it's about time we head home. See you both around. Take care and good luck. Okay, what we're going to do first, we're going to clear the farm, we're going to go mermaid hunting. <laughs> Love this game. As you can see, people are very excited you're here, doubly so for Sam. You should pay him a visit once you're more settled in. He's the owner of the general store in town. 
And that is the field where I'm guessing you'll spend most of your time. Not most of my time. Most of my time will be under the sea. <laughs> oh yeah, garbage collecting. I remember this. Collecting things for the museum. It's huge. It's massive. It's a bit messy now, but I'm sure you'll take care of it in no time. I'm having a little wig out session there. I'm like, ah! Why did you give me such a huge space? So I can do lots of stuff. We'll take it a day at a time, Sheila. Don't you worry. Once you harvest your crops, you can put them or anything else you have to sell here in the shipping bin. I'll ship the content overnight up to the appropriate stores in town and you'll receive the funds the following day. Love a good shipping bin. I'll be going now so you can get some rest. Oh, since you just got here, you probably haven't bought anything you need for farming yet. Here's a little something from the town to get you started. Some seeds and tools. You received a watering can, axe, scythe and random seeds. If you need anything else, I'm at your disposal. Come to me with problems, questions, some mean sake. <laughs> Welcome home, she love. I love sake. Sake is cool. It warms your insides. <laughs> it makes me very silly very quickly. <laughs> Plant and water seeds. Okay, that's my new quest. This is my place. Uh, wow. Okay, well, let's go out to the farm and, and uh, make a... Clear a little patch. Clear a little patch. There's also a... Uh, it looks like it's very late in the night as well. To repair your house, we'll need to gather some materials. Please collect 50 wood and 20 stone. Once you have everything, head to the carpenter and place an order at the counter. Your house will be repaired on the same day. Your local carpenters. Okay. So, gathering wood and stone. So, we'll clear the land and... Uh, get enough stone and wood to repair the house. And then we'll plant our seeds. To grow crops, start by clearing debris. Uh, press left click while equipping a scythe. Pickaxe or axe to clear the debris. Equip the hoe, till the soil. Equip the seed bag. Equip your watering can. Water daily. Harvest when they're ready to tell you. Pretty standard stuff. Why don't we start with some stone? Just gonna. Uh, clear like this left hand corner I think outside my house looks like there's a stamina bar there so we're gonna be using stamina to clear this out change to my axe we'll get rid of these guys here can we cut trees with this axe yes we can we don't need to upgrade it or anything as soon as I've got enough in the corner there to plant a little field, I will, I think, as well. So let's just get rid of some of these plants around here. Maybe that's that stone there, that stone there, that tree there. And I think that's a decent little space to start with. Okay. Uh, we'll get rid of you. You and you. Right, so I've got a hoe here, so I've, I'm gonna do the classic three by three. I don't know. Hey, it's giving me nine turnips. That was quite quick to do. So I'll clear a little more space here next door and we'll do a second bed. I'll be careful of my stamina. So I can I can very easily, I would want to clear this entire land in one go if I could. <laughs> you know what I mean? I am terrible. Absolutely terrible for that. So we've just got to be careful with how much stamina we have. And it looks like we can plant these daisies as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. And then I need my watering can, which looks to be full of water actually at the moment. But obviously these are low level. I'm imagining as we can maybe level up tools, we'll be able to do a bit more. 
So now I need to harvest my first crop and visit Sam's general store. So I imagine ge Sam's general store is going to allow me... I need to cut that tree down, it's driving me mad. But now I've planted all that stuff I can. Um, I'm imagining that Sam's general store is going to allow me to uh, buy some new seeds. And the more seeds I have, the more money I'll have. But also, you've got to balance it because you don't want to spend all day watering while your tools are still rubbish. So, kind of kind of a bit of bit of both, really, isn't it? I don't know how much wood... Oh, here we are. It's up in the left-hand corner. We've got 24 out of 50 wood. Just keep going a little bit more. Just going to be trying to clear this section outside the front of my house. So we are a bit low on... Uh, we do have these lollipops though that we could use or we could just go to bed and do a bit more in the morning but i'll just use as much stamina as i have so far oh it looks like i've got enough wood now okay i'm gonna have one lolly yes oh that's a candied tree seed Yes, I will eat one of those. I will continue to bash rocks until I've got enough to sort my house out. And then first thing in the morning, we can go and see the carpenter, get the house sorted out, and then we're allowed to start decorating, which will be lovely. Being like quite specific about grabbing stone at this point. Uh, one more, one more tiny rock, please. Oh, there's one on the path here. We don't want rocks on our path. There yeah. We can go to the carpenter now. The carpenter... Oh, hang on. No, it's only... It's only midday. It's only midday. It looks dark, you see. So I thought it was already the evening, but it wasn't. Fantastic. So I need to go to my map, and I need to see where the carpenter is. I think it might be... The ranch, the carpenter. So I need to go up here, across here, up here, across here. So, ranch, right, up, right. Okay. Let's go. Can I go faster? No, I can go slower. <laughs> Better not be pressing, uh, not be pressing shift all the time. There's the hot spring up there. There's lots of bugs to catch. I remember doing a lot of bug catching before. I kind of suck at it, but, you know, we try our best to do these things if we can. There's a daffodil there. Grab that. I don't have a bug net yet, so there's no point in worrying about the bugs. There's a moral. Moral. Is this the carpenter? Oh, have I gone into the winery by accident? Yeah, I think I've gone into the winery by accident. Let's see on the map quickly where I am versus where I should be. Carpenter's just down to the south a little bit. Okay. I slightly messed up where I was. Don't worry about that. That that uh, winery is gorgeous. I love it. It's really pretty. Here's the carpenter. So let's go and upgrade our house to a decoratable one. I have repaired my house. I have now visited the carpenter. So... That's a shop. Um, carpenter. I can get a coop, a barn, a stable, a well, a mill, a silo, a fish pond, an insect house, and a shed. I think the insect. I don't remember the insect house before, so that's pretty cool. And then we can also go to the shop and get stone wood a, a small aquarium to put in the house a larger aquarium to put in the house and a calendar a calendar would be quite useful but i don't have enough money for that yet i'll have to ship some stuff let's have a chat i found some wasabi earlier is it even in season i don't know so does it count as a house upgrade to repair my house Here we are. Um, awesome, thank you. I'll work on it right away. 
Lovely. Yoko, honey, a slight change of plans. She Labs here with the building materials. Let's head over to the farm and repair She Labs cabin. Wow, that's awesome, She Lab. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Ginger and Joko are repairing your house. How the house upgrades? More comfortable, right? Now move it and help me get your stuff inside, kiddo. That's better. Oh, I want to get a free wardrobe. Lovely. Well, this looks a lot nicer, doesn't it? Yeah. Not bad for day one. Oh, wow. I got a rug as well. And telly. I'll save up for that calendar. I have a feeling a calendar in a game like this is going to be quite a useful upgrade. And you know what I'm like, it's always going to be functional things before decorative things, generally. Phew, that old thing was really heavy. We're finished, what do you think, Shelab? Looks brand new, thank you. Hey, <laughs> is it? I'd say we can do better. Look, no more mouldy wood, we replaced all of it. We also built a new foundation for the house. That means it's strong enough for more furniture now. You can start decorating to make things comfier. Speaking of decoration... We have a furniture store in town, but since there are fewer tourists, we don't stock many options anymore. No one's buying, you know? Check it out though, you might see something you like. If you want, we can go there right now. Alright, that's enough, you'll scare the kid. Oh, sorry, Sheilab, I got too excited there. We love that store, even if it's got some, sorry, even got some of my cousins helping out there. It's a family business for us. Feel free to visit when you have the time. It's in the middle of town, shouldn't be hard to find. Yay! Alright, that's all for... Honey, aren't you forgetting something? Oh yeah, the TV! We have a TV explanation coming. We threw in a free TV for you, Sheila. Free of charge! Okay. It's free and free. It's old and bulky, but it still works perfectly. Gets a good amount of channels too, like this weather. Yeah. Well, sometimes you gotta smack it at a good 60 degree angle like this. The channels are very useful, like the weather report on the weather channel, so you can skip watering the crops on rainy days to go fishing or something. I don't know what you'd like to do, but you get the idea. There are variety shows too, love them! Some shows have useful tips if you pay close attention. I guess that's all for now. See you around, Shelab. See you, Shelab. Don't forget about the furniture store, all right? <laughs> I need money first. Your house just got bigger. And better. Home sweet home. Press J for open journal to claim reward. A hundred gold coins. Perfect. Might be enough to buy my calendar. So I need to visit Sam's uh, general store and harvest my first crop, which we won't be able to do for a little while. So that's all my, that's all my starting out quests so far. So we, we've got the rest of the day just to work on whatever bits and bobs we want, whether that be to go and see people. I mean, how, how much stamina does it take? It does take a couple of stamina to like clear these areas out. So I think I'm going to go and visit Sam's store and maybe get some more seeds that I could, once my stamina's back in the morning, I could plant or I could try and even plant them now, possibly. And now then, this is the ranch. I think Sam's store is maybe more into the town. There's the recycling centre as well, which is fantastic because you can go there and bring all your trash that you find either under the ocean or in your house. Look at that massive field. I'll have to make I'll have to make do with them. Make a okay coral in. I'll have to make good use of that, won't I? Abandoned villa. Sam's general store. So that is uh, the best way to go would be to go across these bridges and into the like main town. Okay, let's go and see Sam. 
harvest things I see along the way as well, if I, if I remember to. A shiitake mushroom. That's the carpenter. And here's like, I think that's the recycling center. Okay, nice. Looks a bit stinky, but uh, never mind. And maybe down here. And I think Sam's store might be across this lovely patio here. Sam's local produce, there we are. So let's go and see Sam. Get all these starter quests done and then we can start on the real stuff. Ah, oh, Connor's here too. Hey she lab, I knew you'd eventually make your way here within 20 minutes of starting the game, yes. <laughs> I wanted to personally introduce you to the owner of this store. This is Sam, he's been running this establishment for a while now. Hello she lab, it's a pleasure to meet you. Welcome to the general store. You'll find most of your farming needs here. Most of the seeds I sell are seasonal though. It would do you good to keep this in mind. If you need help, just holler. I'll be by the cash register. Well, isn't this nice, Sam? You might finally put a dent in that seed stock of yours. Sorry. Anyway, before you get going, she lab, you're moving in was quite unexpected. I'm sure a lot of people are anxious. Well, more like curious to see who the new farmer is. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to folks in town? Cool, I will be doing that. Meet some townies. I've met four. I've got 30 to meet. Wow. We better get on with that, hadn't we? Let's see what Sam's got in his shop. So I can upgrade my bag for 500. So I'll need to be doing that pretty soon, but not right now, I don't think. I think seeds and things will be more important to start with. Now then, I think I might be able to sell these, possibly a little bit of extra cash. Plus 46, plus 10, plus 10. Cool. And with that I can get some different uh, seeds for things. So maybe I could get some potato seeds. my crops sell for a bit more than because <laughs> they're expensive seeds cauliflower seeds are 70 each wow grass starters fertilizer sugar wheat flour and bread okay well i think i'm gonna be planting those potatoes tomorrow but i'm gonna spend the rest of the day going around and seeing if i can find people to talk to to finish off my meeting people quest so let's go and see who these people are ben oh Oh, a new face. Feeling really good vibes from you, mate. I have met Ben. Uh, let's see on the map if there's any like more strangers around. There's another townie over there, and a townie down there, and a townie down there, and a townie up there. Okay, let's keep going around. Just let's run around, see who we find. So if there's any strangers or townies or. a bit empty right now isn't it my goodness Ling's mansion let's just go in everyone's houses let's go in all their houses and then we will find them in their houses the houses are blinking huge in this they're massive compared to the people my goodness I don't know whose room this is or whose room that is but no one's in okay I just need to keep running around. I'll eventually find them all. But that's one thing with making a map very big is it can feel a little bit sparse when there's not many people walking around. Hello, there's Leah. You said you're a farmer, right? Hmm, that explains the outfit. How cute. I'm glad you think that my outfit is cute. Just keep on running around. See who we find. 
I am, I do still have like a bit of an idea of the map at the moment, which so that's quite good. Paul, you're going to be a farmer, huh? What brings you out here then? By the way, you can call me Paul. I was looking for people. I've got nothing to do. I planted all my crops for the day. What is this? There is a giant meteor in the way of me progressing out there. I guess I'll need a really good axe to get that out of the way. I'll, I will not have the stamina to even try that today. Oh, there's a weed there. Can I get rid of it? I shouldn't be on the path, right? Hmm. Might be time to go to bed now, I don't know. It seems like it's quite quite late and people might be going to bed and things and we won't be able to find people. I very much imagine there'll be more people milling about in the daytime. Blacksmith there, it's closed though. Get myself oriented with the whole thing. And I imagine this is going back towards my farm there, someone I can talk to. Who's this? Soria. Oh, you're Shilab. I've heard about you from my uncle Yoko. A carpenter. Tall mustache, no? Yes, I remember him. I just spoke to him a minute ago. So there are still people milling about. Um... There's a few townies like down on the beach area. There's a stranger on the beach and one down. Actually, there's a few around the boardwalk sort of area. Where am I? I'm up there. Oh man. So I would need to go all the way around. Oh, it's back where I came from and down to the south. Okay. Probably go down there. I think, I think it kicks you out at midnight, if I remember rightly. My mushroom's just staring at me. I've got to walk past it about three times, so I, I need to pick it up. Is this a game where you can rummage in the trash? Yes. You could do that in pumpkin days as well. <laughs> Love that game. I think they're working on something new at the moment. I have to keep a bit of an eye on that. Not many, uh... Okay, there's still someone down on the beach and there's still someone down at the docks. But I'm wondering if that should be a tomorrow thing. Maybe I should carry on looking for people in the morning when they're gonna... There's gonna be lots of them out. It might be better. Maybe it's time to just go to sleep, regain my stamina, and see what the new day has to offer me. It looks like that day took about half an hour. So I probably will be trying to do two or three days per episode. We didn't get any money. Very sad times. So for the first couple of days, the money will all be coming from what I can scavenge. So let's have a look at the television. So we've got coral shopping. Chef's knife. That's socket and pan for 1,350. That's a little bit, that's a little bit in the future, I would say. How to be a farmer with Jeff Smith. My name's Jeff Smith and I know a thing or two about farming. I was raised in a farm. So I've got tips for you sprouts. Let me tell you about them. I'm gonna tell you the first thing my pop told me when I planted my first corn. In 1951. No? 61. Water your crop every day. That's it. You got that down? Chances are you'll be okay, Sprouts. But you don't need to water when it's raining, you hear? Look, I've done more farming than you, mate. Change wardrobe. Wardrobe storage. That's, that's clothes storage. But we don't have any storage for anything else right now. That'll probably be what the shed is for. There might be a bit like Fay Farm in that, that you put things in your shed. Uh, right then, so I think the first thing I want to do today is to plant my potatoes. Get this farm proper going. Where are my potatoes? 
first crafting inventory potatoes let's put those there instead of that mushroom we don't need a mushroom we just need seeds and my watering can should probably need a fill after this this is why I thought Putting my farm here, right by the water's edge, is kind of a useful thing to do. It looks quite neat as well, doesn't it? I can't hold it down, I have to clip each one. Okay. Good to know. So, I will do a little bit more clearing. this uh, I might leave most of this grass here but I want to get rid of the rubbish in the middle of it at least come on okay I've got a full inventory let's have a look at this back here is this something no can't do I have a build menu or anything like that quest crafting menu okay so we can craft ourselves out of wood and trash a makeshift chest. I ha I've been picking up trash. Oh no, I haven't. Because I've got like no room in my inventory. Ah, right, I see. Why don't we sell the tulip and the mushroom to make a bit more room? I think might be good building resources but I'm just gonna sell produce for now and then I'll be able to like start hoarding things like I always do <laughs> she lab style hoarding so let's see if we now have enough to make ourselves a chest no I need a little bit more trash and a little bit more wood so I need nine more wood and a bit more trash I found some glass in my trash. So I'll make myself a chest and then we're gonna go uh, have a chat. We'll go around town and have a little chat to people. Okay, let's see if we've got enough now. We have enough now for crafting a chest. No, we need four more. Right, okay. Oh, if I chop down this tree, that'd probably be enough. Just going left to right at the moment. I'm going to make a strip along the... Well, maybe like a little square or something along the side here. Always got to get rid of your stumps. Like there's already something more trying to grow there as well. I'll just get these as well. So we've got like a nice area we can run around in. Okay. We definitely need some planting there as well if we want. Um, sadly, there's grass here. But there's loads of grass around actually. So I don't think it would matter too much if I took this patch away. I could use that patch for like grazing or something. Right, lovely. So now we should be able to make a box that we can put things in. Or maybe even two. My inventory is too full for the box. Oh. Okay. Maybe I will sell that one maple seed. To be honest, I could just store things in the shipping bin until I can make things and I can probably take them out of the shipping bin so that's not too bad. Uh, so crafting. Makeshift chest. There we are. And then we'll put that straight down and we'll start putting things in it. This is very necessary, clearly. Right, so I could put away my trash in there. My scrap, my compost, my glass, my sap. I don't need that. My fibre. Hay. Wood. Wood. 
Yeah, that looks fine to me. Okay, um, so as we're clearing things, we'll probably put most of the building materials in there. And then as we grow crops, I will probably sell them. Uh, then I will see... Once I've got enough money together, I will probably try and make uh, dishes instead. Generally speaking, in games, like, making dishes is better. There are some games where it's not. I can't remember if this is one of them. That's looking nice. Right, okay, let's go and do some finding of people. Uh, I still need to harvest, what one of my missions is still to harvest my first crop, but that's not going to happen uh, until I think I have watered everything. Have I, wa I have watered everything, right? This is going to be an issue until I get sprinklers. Looks pretty watered to me. Yeah, it's watered. So yeah, we're, we're done with everything we can do. Uh, we Getting a collection of wild seeds, once I have uh, maybe nine of them, I'll plant a whole patch of them. And they come out as all sorts of random things. Hello, it's Alice. Is that, is that you, Shelab? Wow, I almost didn't recognise you in that get-up. Oh, so you're the one moving into the lot, huh? That would explain the outfit. That's really interesting, isn't it? That, um... Do we have, like, a calendar yet? We don't until we buy one, do we? That's annoying. I want a calendar so bad. Oh, I love all the dogs and cats that you can adopt. The animal shelter. The Cherry Blossom Festival, Spring 10th. We are on Spring 2. So yeah, it's really interesting, isn't it? That because I played in Early Access, people are like, Hey, Sheila, I remember you, but also, are you moving in? It's like, really? Connor, so we've all, we already know Connor. Uh, we've got a board here that we can... Oh, here's the calendar. Okay, nice. So I can see people's birthdays on the calendar as well, which is useful if I can find out the things they like. Let's go to the clinic and say hello to the nurse and doctor in there if they're, off, if they're about. Yep, there is a doctor and a nurse in here. Charles, hello to you. Ah, true. Ah, spring, not the best time to move here. I have met Charles. And there was someone else with green hair here. Uh, who are you? Yuri. Oh, Shelab, it's nice to finally meet you. Clicking is a bit oversensitive sometimes today. Oh well. Uh, let's go in the salon if we can and see if there's anybody in there we can talk to. I figure if I go in all the shops, I might be able to get 30 people just from that. So you are Erica. Hey you. Is this our new neighbor? Making your way around town, huh? Have you been to the tavern yet? Frank is there all the time. Have you two met? Um, ah no, who's Frank? Oh, he's my husband. You know what? You should stop by our house sometime. Frank will cook us dinner. That sounds wonderful. Yes, you can tell us your story. Oh, there's someone else behind the counter. Hello. Emily. Oh, the new neighbour. So someone really was moving into town, huh? I didn't believe it until I saw you myself. Met Emily. How come it's not, like, tracking this? I want to see how many people I've managed to meet. I don't know if 30 is all of them. In that case, it might take a while to find them all, but... Uh, that's often a quest you're given at the beginning of a game, isn't it? Fish and chips. Is that like fish and chips? Why can't I talk to you? Hello? Hello? Talk to you? Alaya. Oh, hello. I don't think we've met. I met Alaya. Let's go into Fish and Ships Tavern and see if there's anybody hanging about in here that I can chat to. There are three people in here. So, Ratty. 
The tavern is one of my oldest customers. I knew their dad, Frank. No, not the one behind the counter, the original one. Oh, hey, I have to say, you're not what I expected. That's Noah. Frank! Whoa, look who's finally here! The new farmer, right? I'm Frank. Everyone looks so, like they've got such laid back style. It's lovely. That's a liar's room. Okay. You can really decorate nicely in this. Although one thing I would say is I, I do feel like the scale on some of the furniture is a bit small for some of the rooms. We can do some nice outside decorating as well. So, who are you? Ah, can I maybe... The Raja Coffee Shop. Barista. So that's just a barista. I'm a liar. I already met you, though. Why would there be stairs here if I can't go anywhere from going up the stairs? Uh, oh, okay. It's just like a seating area. I see. I see how it is. I always talk to everybody. Go down to the beach, see if there's anybody down here. Oh, there's a few things I can pick up on the beach though, and I could sell those, sell the shells. Raj! Hello! I don't think I've seen you before. Are you new in town? I think I've met her. That's the nurse. She's just having a little... They just go after work and sunbathe. I, I don't think I've seen the sun in about six months. Okay, so we're on 18 out of 30. Got 12 to go. Ah, oh, where could I go? Millie and Yuri's house. I don't think I've met Millie, so we could see if we can get into this house and see if anybody's in. But a lot of the time you can't. Is that Millie? Oh, it's Suki. Hey, it's nice to see you again. I'm seeing all the same people. I want to see new people. People that I don't know. There's two strangers. There's one stranger down on the beach and there's two uh, by Frank and Erica's house. If I follow this round here... Might be able to find some strangers to talk to. Who are you? I don't know who you are. Who are you? I don't know who you are. That's Ben again. Can't talk to you. Said there were strangers around here. I don't see them. Try the tavern in the evening time. Maybe there's different people in here. There's someone here that I don't think I met. Walter. Well, well, well. If it isn't the new owner of the lot, or should I say the farm? Yes. So we're on 19? 20 people now, so we've got 10 to go. Um, yeah, there are. there's someone that I don't know apparently still in fish and ships. Who's that then? Where are they? Maybe up the stairs. That might not be able to get in here. Oh yeah, I can, okay, nice. Who are you? Oh, can't talk to you. There seems to be only certain times when you can talk to people, like when they're sitting down and you don't seem to be able to talk or something. I don't know. 
But I am trying to be social. <laughs> it's not really always working for me. Have a look at the map. So there's still someone there and there's someone by that boat over there. Let's see if we can find these people. Because that would have us at least up to 22 of them. How do I get down there? Oh yeah, around past the clinic and down the stairs that way. Stop moving! <laughs> I go to where I think they are and then it's like, no, we've moved! Ha ha ha! Okay, who are you? Randy! My name's Randy. I'm an elementary school teacher. What did you say your name was? 21. So there's Ling's mansion. There's Charles's house, there's Zara's boat. I don't think we've met Zara. There's a stranger up by the corner there, if I can get to it. So let's see if we can find them. I think it's, it's kind of important to get to know everybody. Um, if I can meet them, then I can start making friends with them, which is something that on a full run of things, I always want to try and do. Hi. Derek. Oh, hey, what's up? I have met Derek. I'm sore. I think I'll head to the hot spring tonight. Maybe I should actually chat to them a little bit more to the train. So there's two at the blacksmith. There's two in Zoe, Anne and Paul's house. There's Emma and Dipper. There's a stranger up there. That I could maybe try and find. Or we can just go to bed and again try and meet people in the morning when they're because it looks like a lot of the houses are open until eight o'clock. And that is a trek and a half, isn't it? I could try it. If I could have all the townies met by the third day, that wouldn't be a bad start I don't feel that would be quite a good start I think so I think there are across here somewhere I'll get across this little bridge where were they Oh yeah, there's a couple up here. Look, okay, let's let's talk to these people. That'll be another two. If I can talk to them. So, Chaim. I'm gonna say Chaim. You're the new arrival, huh? Or Chaim, maybe. Don't bother me. I won't bother you. Ha! Sick. Psych, even. Maybe is it the psych? Waku. She lab. Did I say it right? I, I'm hoping I'm saying Waku right. I'm Waku. It's a pleasure to meet you. Dad told me about you. He's the one who brought you here on the chicken boat. Yep, the one with the hat. So we're on 24 now. But I think most of the people that I don't know are... Uh, so there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there's more than 30. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 30 is like, just like, a good amount of the people. 15, 16. I think there's like 16 more people I don't know. So we'll definitely be able to go around and see them tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to go back to my house. Wow, it's 10 o'clock. It takes ages to, to walk around finding people. <laughs> it's a tough job, but someone's got to do it. I see from the carpenter you want to go to the south. No, you don't. Well, oh, actually, I could investigate this quickly. It won't budge. So we might have to clean that up later. It looks like the water supply is being messed with. I'd probably better get home, hadn't I? Gosh, it's nearly like midnight. Uh, not that way. Okay, 
so I think that might be the end of this episode because we're coming up to about an hour. So I think we've done quite well so far. We have uh, upgraded the house. I have planted my first um, few fields of crops. I have met 24 out of 30 of the townsfolks. Um, I haven't harvested my first crop yet, but that's impossible to do on day two. So I think we'll go to bed and... I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. Hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.